Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Paul the Ride Home Review and this week uh, I watched Equalizer 2 which stars Denzel Washington, Pablo Pascal, uh, I'm sorry, Pedro Pascal, um, Ashton Saunders, Bill Pullman, Melissa Leo, and uh, before I get into that, don't forget, um, I do this each week. Subscribe on YouTube so you don't miss anything or like on Facebook either way uh, the reviews go there um, and so And also the anchor the podcast so check that out as well um, Sorry uh, getting into it. Um, basically equalizer 2 reprise uh, Denzel Washington reprises his role of Robert McCall a CIA operative thought dead um, and this time around his past catches up to him and not in a good way and so I'm going to leave it at that uh, there's other things here and there but I'm gonna leave it at that for a synopsis of this film um, because as a former CIA oper operative you're gonna have some uh, some secrets so anyway what I liked about this movie is number one and this is one of those rare occasions where I felt the sequel was better than the first um, this pacing was a lot better. Um, uh, I really enjoy how they treat the first act with showing the random acts of kindness. Robert McCall, he's just a really good guy. He's a really good guy. However, a dangerous one. And I really enjoy that and um, his relationship building uh, with the young character of Miles. Um, there's a really great scene in the movie with with both of them uh, and you know and Melissa Leo and, uh, and Bill Pullman reprise their roles as his friends from his past and so um, I really I don't know this one was so so good um, and I really enjoyed the flow uh, and and just the interaction um, Denzel Washington is a badass um, and mate and kicks it up a notch even more so um, you don't see some of the repercussions of his actions but I don't think that that's necessarily part of the story the story is in the moment this is in the moment and so you're catching it as it happens and so um, forget about what comes after because this is what's going going to go through so I just thought that they, they just did a wonderful job of introducing characters uh, going through the flow um, like I said the pacing was a lot better um, in this one and it wasn't as cliche well I suppose you could think of it that way but it's just interesting this is just an interesting character uh, of Robert McCall a man of mystery in so many so many ways but at the same time is just an engaging friendly smiling character um, and that's what he has two sides of the coin what if I had any type of gripe about this film it would have to be about the impetus uh, I don't think enough emphasis was put on the acceleration to get the true antagonists into the scene and into I mean it just was a little confusing in some way shape or form of how it all really connected at the at the start it was just not enough backstory in that regard but uh, what to watch for um, number one is the overarching weather theme and how that goes along with the story arc of what's going to be happening um, I, you know just listen for that uh, and also number two the scene where he was attacked in the car is by far one of the most insane car scenes I have ever seen um, in a film. Uh, just, you'll know it when it comes up. So there you have it. Equalizer 2 in theaters now. Yes, go see it in a theater. You'll enjoy it. And also, don't forget to subscribe to me on YouTube. Uh, like me on Facebook follow on Anchor, on Instagram, all that. So, until next week, watch something cool and Equalizer 2 is a really good movie.